I'm not interested in causes as such. I'm interested in how Michael Myers embodies the politics of violence embedded in pop mythology. Max. And this whole paradigm of cause and effect is so patriarchal. And on the other hand, I completely adore Halloween. I once wrote an entire paper on the neo-pagan symbolism of candy corn. So what do you hope to find in the house tomorrow night? Um, my way into network broadcasting. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, this is just the kind of investigative journalism that I've always dreamed of. Oh, some of my friends tell me that I look like a younger, sexier Diane Sawyer. And I'm not saying that that's true or anything, but... <laughs> well, um, what was the question? I was saying... Right, 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 okay. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna find, but, uh, you're gonna love watching me look for it. I'm sure we will. Thank you. I just want to say that Michael Myers is not just a man behind a mask. He's a legend. He's been killing people for over 20 years, and yet he could never be proven guilty in a court of law. For all we know, he could be anyone. I mean, without DNA evidence. It's reasonable doubt, baby. Never underestimate the effect of a poor diet. Too much protein, not enough zinc. Next thing you know, you're cutting up bodies in your bathtub, right? I mean, look at, uh, look at Hitler. He was a vegetarian. The brother was seriously malnourished. I'm telling you, nutrition is destiny. That's why I'll be opening up my own line of bistros, coming to a neighborhood near you. Please check it out. We'll be franchising in all 50 states, and it'll be affordable. You can feed your children, your boyfriend, whatever. I have food that can put you in a certain mood, a mood for love, a mood for anger, a mood for whatever, because food dictates how we feel and what we do. Just stick with me, and I can change your life. Rudy Grimes, chef of the millennium. You don't have to go far to find Michael Myers. He is the great white shark of our unconscious. He is the dark-eyed child of our spirits. He's every murderous impulse we've ever had. He's that little voice that whispers to us to strangle the old lady taking too long at the checkout counter. Get to know him, baby. He's you. Tell us, Sarah, why do ordinary people turn to murder? Well, I, um, I think it has <clears throat> something to do with upbringing. <laughs> Damn, that girl can sing. 